What's up lads? Today I'm going to be doing a video on my awesome little OBD reader. Now this is also a good little modification thing where you guys can customise your car, the lights, the locks, all sorts. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for this video and I hope you guys enjoy it too. So let's get started. Okay, so I've gotten to a little bit of a quieter place now. But this whole video is basically about this awesome OBD reader called Corista. You guys can see that. Now, <clears throat> with this little dongle, basically it's Bluetooth, so you just plug it into your OBD reader, and basically you can obviously see all the errors that are stored inside the ECU with this, and you can also do really a lot of um, little, little hidden features that you guys can do as well. Um, now, this works better with the more modern cars, so probably from 2010 upwards. Uh, it works better with this car is a 2009 and it does actually have quite a lot of things that I can already do to it um, but I can imagine like the amount of things that you might be able to do to a 2015 car or better yet 2018 car will be a lot more than what you can do with a 2005 car so yeah I'm pretty excited for this video so I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys definitely check these out after this video because they're definitely worth it um, so yeah Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is put the actual Corista reader inside your OBD reader. So, plug the out of these. There we are, it'll be right somewhere back here. Um, there, right at the very back there, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it'll be right near your throttle. Now, it'll go in only one way, so if it doesn't go in one way, it'll go in the other way. So there you go, it's plugged in there. Okay, so now I'll just quickly change the camera to my phone so you guys can see exactly what this thing can do. So first thing you want to do, as soon as you put the Krista reader in there, you want to turn the ignition on, let it all start up and read, I'll just turn my radio off. So once you've done that, you want to go to your you want to firstly download the app even, and then, where is it, there it is. So once you get on your app, basically you can click Diagnose, Customize and Service. So I'll give you guys a little example. When you click Diagnose, it'll be like a little loading screen. And then once it loads, it'll basically come up with all the errors that your car has. Which is really cool really, because I hope you guys can see that properly. Um, so yeah, it does take a little couple of seconds, but one minute it'll be like 0%, next minute it'll be 100 so yeah, it really flicks by. So you see, there we go. Okay, so once it does load guys, basically this is what will be coming up, this is your faults. Now, these are my two little faults that I can't really get off, I think it's something to do with the um, cat system, but it doesn't bother me anyway. So um, yeah, this is your faults and then the best thing about this is the customization so when this comes up guys it's so cool you can literally change so many things with this you can change the brightness of your headlights um, you can change your mirrors going down when you reverse you can change it beeping when you unlock the car it, it, you can honestly do a lot of things with this um, but this does come at a decent price so the Carista Mod Diatrula OBD reader itself, I can't 100% remember how much it was. I will definitely put it into the, uh, on the screen about here, if I can, um, of how much it is. And I'll definitely put a link in the description of this. Um, but when you get the app, it is £50 a year, I think, or is it £40 a year? Um, but when you get it, obviously it lasts a year. And you can do, when you do all these little modifications to your car, it will stay on the car whether you have the app or not so yeah it's really cool uh, here we go so here we go I can do loads of things so I can automatically lock the doors when moving I can auto lock doors when key is taken out of the ignition um, auto unlock the doors sorry uh, beeping when locking with the uh, with the key um, yeah, you can do loads of things open windows when you hold the button on the remote uh, close the sunroof when on the remote um, the alarm system, you can turn it on and off. 
Um, delay, enable remote control buttons when ignition is on. So yeah, and then this is the instrument cluster. So your the language of your instrument cluster you want it to be English. Um, if you want the seatbelt warning to come on when you're not wearing your seatbelt, I've got mine disabled at the minute. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. And then you can go to lights. So you can turn your daytime running lights on or off. You can use your fog lights as your daytime running lights. You can change the brightness of your daytime running lights. Um, leaving home lights, rear fog lights, cornering lights. Literally all sorts of things. Other, you can do, let's have a look here. Uh, additional tear wipe after windshield washer use. Uh, lower passenger side mirror when reversing a gear. So yeah, you can literally do so much guys, like this is really cool to have. Um, I'll put a couple of little um, bits that you can do with this that I've actually used on this car, I did like a little montage. Um, in fact, I actually fit it right here. So yeah, if you guys have seen that, like you can, everything that I've done in that little video is all done by this. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. It's really worth it, especially if you get a little engine light, which sometimes I get because I haven't got a, um, I haven't got a catalytic converter on this. So uh, yeah, it's uh, obviously a turbo back Miltec system. So sometimes the engine light comes on, but I can just go straight on here, plug it, plug it in, Bluetooth it to my phone, and then reset it, and then it's it's good for a little while. Um, I can also do the service light as well, so if the service light comes on and you do the service you can also reset it with this or obviously there will probably be a way in the manual as well for this car as well. So um, yeah, this is really cool guys, I, bet, I hope you guys enjoy this video and definitely check these out, see that we've got the service indicator reset, detailed ECU info, emissions test, like this thing is awesome. So yeah guys, definitely check this out it's definitely worth the money like the amount of things that you can do is cool little additional things which basically make the bigger difference so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video definitely stay tuned and make sure to subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see next so uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace